been asked to show some of the uh, waiter features of the system. So I'm going to show the point of sale it from that aspect. Now I've loaded, already loaded the table service demo. Where for, for those of you who have not seen this before, this red dot here, this is where you would exit a, a demo. So you would touch that, hit yes, and then you're going to exit back out. Then you'll see the 16 databases that come with the system. You can choose any of these databases. It will allow you to show the system. The bitmaps are loaded, pictures, images. It's all really there for you. But if you wanted to, you could create your own store. You, with your login, are allowed to have one uh, private store, that is, one demo that does everything for you. I would suggest you do that that you create your own store. So now I've loaded in the table service application. It will have certain features that you can use to show a table service application. I'm going to enter in the highest security level, which is the 555. Immediately it's going to go into the order recall screen or the initial screen. If I had any orders that were previously rung up, they would show up here. Down the left are your server buttons. You have the new order. You have the status filter. That is, you can sort all the orders by status. In this case, these are the orders, that, statuses that you can look for. Next up is the server filter, and that you can sort by server. Now, I have the highest security level, so I'm acting like an owner or a manager. So I can see everybody's orders that are in the system. If you are a single server that is logged into the system, you're only going to see yours. You can't see others without the right security clearance. Type filter is do you want to sort by type? And if you were a bartender, you would have the bar orders would be all that you would see. So you don't have to look through all the other orders in the system to find the ones that are for you. In this case, you would only have the bar orders. Then down at the bottom is a date filter. You can sort by date if you had. The two dots here indicate that there are more items below. In this case, there's a search feature, a combined desk check feature, and a transfer feature. I'll show you those here in a momentarily. The three dots here on the right-hand side, the programmers call this the ellipsis button. This will access the other functions from the point of sale that are needed. In this case, you're going to have a server bank. So you would touch that and then enter the bank that you have to start your transactions. Then you just hit new order. In this case, we get the tables laid out here. These are graphical. You can move those around. You do have the statuses here. You're looking at me touch on the left to move from one category to the next, but you also can just swipe to move from one to the next. Swiping up will then move up and down as well. I'm going to hit the done button, which is this check mark, check mark at the bottom, and now that it sent those to the kitchen. To recall, you just enter your server number and you go back in, and there's your your order that's currently available. Another one that you would ring up, you'll now see the status of that table. I'm going to hit done again. I'm doing this now so that you can see I've got two orders that are now open, two tables. I can swipe up, hit the combine button, then just 
combine those two checks together. That's all there is to combining a check or combining two tables under a single check. Something else you could do is you could transfer that. You could transfer just that one check or transfer all. So if you were going on break and you needed to transfer all the checks, you could do that as well. So just current transfer and then pick the person that you're going to transfer this to. Now, please note, I'm logged in as a manager. I have the highest security clearance. This is generally something that's put under manager control. It's not something that a server can just willy-nilly just transfer guest checks. Reason being is that's a theft problem. If somebody's going to uh, ring up an order, serve that order, collect that order, they would then transfer that to another server, sticking them with the tab and collecting the money. So this is a security issue that uh, you need to make sure that your prospect understands that a manager authorization is needed in order to do this. When you're ready to close out, go to the tender button. Now you can see that the, the entire order here is on the left. You can split this by individual number of ways. You can split it three, four, five, whatever ways. I think the max is 27 ways. It's an odd number, but it's, 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 it's a large number that you can split. Or you can split by seat. In this case, we didn't put any seats. If you wanted to, you can go back, hit the back button. And down the left, these are where you could put in a different seat number. First off, you're going to have to add a person, which you hit this blue guy up here. That adds a seat. Then you just go back, touch the item, and then move it to that seat. What you didn't see, you saw the order expand. What happened is I expanded it in order to get to that that one more item. To do that, you just hit two fingers anywhere in the transaction here, and it will then open that up to full screen. To close it back to a normal screen, hit two fingers anywhere in here, and it closes it back. There's, a, there's going to have to be a whole video just on gestures that you can do at the point of sale because you can right swipe, left swipe, up swipe, down swipe, two fingers and three fingers. All different different gestures you can make. So now that you're here, you have the seat by seat. Just hit split by seat and now I have uh, two different checks, seat one and then seat two. You can close one, other stays open until you close it. Hey, I have a question that popped up here. What if you hit an item someone didn't order? Can you change it before you hit done? That's a really good question. That has to do with those gestures that I was just talking about. So let's ring up an item. So now I've got three items that are rung up, and I realized that the baby iceberg wedge salad is not what I wanted. You would then swipe right to left with your finger and void that item. All this is done before it is done to the kitchen. So as part of the swiping or the gesturing feature that we talked about, you can also touch an item and do other things such as uh, on the right hand side, the plus button. If there's a discount available, you can put that in. You can then use that discount. The stopwatch allows you to put that item on hold. There's three different types of hold. There's a preset time hold, manual hold, or a time hold, which you can actually declare what time you'd like that item to be sent to the kitchen. Any of those would work. Let's bring up a steak. You choose the 
temp, the exclamation point means you have to choose one of the sauces and then choose a couple of the modifiers. Now you've got a heavily modified item. The salt and pepper shaker here denotes that or lets you know that there is there are modifiers. The red indicates that there are modifiers selected. Um, if it was blue, it would indicate that it was some optional mod modifiers that are there. So touch the item, touch it, go back to it, and change it before it goes to the kitchen. You can do that multiple times, changing whatever you need to change before it goes to the kitchen. Salt and pepper shaker is your indication that you have some modifiers there. Red meaning there are required modifiers, blue meaning optional. And the question is, is there a knowledge base of all the gestures so we can get familiar with them? Um, uh, short answer is not yet. We do have some that are available, but they, we just added some. So it, 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 that's actually still growing. It's crazy, but we just added a three finger gesture. So we have one finger, two finger, three finger gestures. Up, down, left, right. So it's uh, pretty complex, but it's so fast. For instance, if I have in this ticket window here, if I want to exit the system, I can use the done button, or I can just swipe right, left, or right with two fingers, and I exit. I can bring an order back up and swipe right to left two fingers and go into the cash button. You can get really fast with the gestures. I just was swiping up, 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 moving that around. Another gesture is two fingers onto a button. And what that allows you to do is uh, see the ticket window there. You can also see the item in detail. You see where I've ordered one? I can press that again and order another. I've got three here. If I, if that's not correct, I can touch that and change that quantity. There's just a lot you do with this system. Two fingers in the area here will bring up the order detail screen. Anytime you see the little dots, you can scroll up to see. This is the uh, customer search, customer info, if you want to add a customer to the screen. Two fingers in this area up allows you to add an item, a menu group, or a discount on the fly. Obviously, manager approval or authorization is required, but you can do that from the point of sale. Two up, gets you access to that. Two down, gets you the order info screen. I'm showing you some quick things on the gesturing. Uh, I, it looks like I have to do a whole in, entire video on that it's just to show all the different ones we have quite a few for more information about Adello and our products you can always call us at 800-801-6036 or email us at sales at adello.com if you have a support question email support at adello.com or you can check us out at the family of websites that we have adello.com AdelloPay.com and the Adello.Express.